All right, this is a pest alert for all you tomatillo growers. Hopefully you can see this little beetle on the leaf. My camera's not working very well, so I've been having a hard time getting a close up. But this little beetle, he's got, he's kind of tan, and he's got some black stripes going down the sides of his back. And uh, these beetles were all over my tomatillo plants. You could see that I've butchered this tomatillo back because what happens is the beetles get all over it, and then they start mating, and the next thing you know, you've got little beetle larvae that are destroying your plant. So I was hand removing those beetles and thought I was doing a good enough job, but meanwhile they were mating and having babies. And next thing you knew, I had all of these gooey little larvas just chowing down on all the leaf growth. Look at that. And they just um, destroyed these two tomatillo plants within a matter of three days. So the reason why this one is, these both are so bare is because I went through here and I tried neem for a couple days. Actually, I noticed the larva pretty much right away and I um, did a neem application and then waited a couple of days and it was not effective. So I did it again and these beetles and their larva are just resisting the neem oil. Here's a close-up of the beetle. So what you want to do when you see signs of these guys is you got to remove them and kill them right away, especially if you see them mating because um, their larvae are very resilient and uh, destructive. I think what did help was the diatomaceous earth um, that helped, but the larvae were all underneath all the leaves also, and it was just a nightmare job for me to try to get rid of the larvae, so I decided to just prune back most of the leaf growth because um, the tomatillo plant will regenerate new leaves as long as you don't cut them back too severely, for instance, on that tomatillo. Uh, plant, I went too aggressive on cutting the leaf back, the leaf growth back that was uh, um, covered with the larva. So, if you see those guys, remove them right away and uh, get some DE on your plant in the evening once all of the pollinators have gone in have stopped pollinating for the night and then in the morning you can wash it off so that the bees don't get affected but um, you definitely want to get rid of any signs <clears throat> of these guys at all because they could do a lot of damage and I believe they're cucumber beetles but for some reason they just, they're not on my cucumbers. They are just loving the tomatillos. All right, that's it for now. Enjoy your garden.